recording. Hello. Hello, everyone in the chat. Um, welcome to this week's Tuesday edition with uh, Twitch Rig Along with Mabel. Um, we have her little snack right here. Again, it's a it's a frozen cabbage. It's a classic. We I like making it, and she enjoys eating it. This is a bit of a small one right now, but it is packed with sweet potato, salmon, and peanut butter. You ready? You want this? Can you ask nicely? Tell everybody at home that you say hi. Come on. You can take it. You can take it. That's a big one for you. I have a feeling she's going to eat that whole thing. Um, yeah, all right, cool. So this week we're doing something really awesome, uh, really uh, unique, I would say. This is a pretty cool episode for um, uh, the Rigalong, the character that Brett designed, the skeleton in a cardigan, uh, has a mouth cop, and he did all the work, which was awesome, with a little bit of feedback in our last session. Um, and... Uh, what am I missing? We're going to go over that today. <laughs> We're going to go over that today. Um, I'm looking forward to it. It's super flexible. If you saw the design, I posted it on my LinkedIn page. He really went above and beyond to get into the details of the jaw and the teeth. And so I'm going to teach, I'm going to show him how to, to like line up the jaw and make sure that it's, um, Compatible with cutout, but we're gonna have as much fun as we can with this uh, With this skeleton because <laughs> it's gonna be hard it's gonna be hard to match it perfectly But we're gonna we're gonna do our best because I think I think like the whole jaw was the reason why and the whole mouth comp was the whole reason why this whole character looks so cool and so this one is no uh, no exception so um, without further ado, I'm going to switch over to the camera and we can get started. Uh, hey Brett! No, yes, it is going to be, it is going to be a little bit of an experiment. Luckily, I've done enough of these that I kind of have some, um, <laughs> I kind of have some idea of what we're going to do. Uh, but I am rigging at the, on the seat of my pants, so I am, I am on the fly. Uh, hey the Marineac! <laughs> I <laughs> cannot say it. Uh, nice to have you in the chat today. And again, if you have any questions about the process or rigging in general or animation, how it's made, uh, feel free to ask away. Um, the interaction is what makes this fun. So without further ado, let me switch over and let me bring up the... Uh, do, 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 do. Might have some weird shadows today because... Uh, I'm really enjoying how the sun is going down so late, but it might cause some weird shadows on me today, but um, I don't need my light on yet. All right, so let's bring in, let's bring in the design. Um, so the first things first is, and Brett, I know that you were asking a whole bunch of questions about like, should you do more? Should you do um, all of, like all of the mouth shapes, all of the emotions and, um, had I said yes, do all that work now, right now as we're going to go in and line it up, you would have run a really big risk of having to redo a whole bunch of work. So I'm, I'm really glad that uh, you didn't go ahead and do all of the, all of the emotions because I'm going to show you how things line up and, and how to kind of position the mouth chart so that it looks animatable. Um, Mariana. Okay. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mariana. <laughs> I know you've been in the chat before. I'm pretty sure I've seen your, your name there. So I do remember. Um, all right. So let's, let's bring in the design. All right. So first things first, we have to upload it, um, or import it. So I'm just going to go and find, I was doing something completely different earlier. So I'm going to have to change my, uh, my options here. Um, this is the mouth. I have a feeling we're going to have to rename that actually now that I am trying to bring this in. So we're just going to bring it in and have one single named layer. I'm also going to shorten it so it's not so long. So let's just put mouse. Uh, and I'm going to leave it as a Toon Boom bitmap drawing. Again, this is a very flexible, gives you a clear drawing, um, or a very clear image. 
that you probably wouldn't want to manipulate, but it's not as... It's very different from the original bitmap, which would be more for importing backgrounds um, and like Photoshop documents where they have a lot of textures and whatnot. Uh, so we don't need that today. So we'll go back to Toon Boom bitmap drawing and we'll leave the alignment as it is. We're gonna be changing it. The transparency is straight, uh, is perfect. You didn't see the final product for the carrot. Oh, it's well, it's uploaded now. It's on um, it's on Gumroad, <laughs> so you can you can look up Lin's Day K on Gumroad, and you'll be able to see all of the progress on the character. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're there. They are there. They are up there. Oh my gosh, Mabel, you just find them. It's a mistake. And the cabbage is already gone. All right. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna start off really quickly just by talking about this uh, the mouth comp. Let me let me focus on it a little bit. It's pretty big, so we'll make it a little. We'll have to make it a lot smaller. But let's talk about let's talk about this. Um, this is so grotesque. It's awesome. <laughs> so nice job, nice job, Brett. Uh, all right, so we've got all of the the shapes. Let me bring in let me bring in a mouth chart so that we can kind of have something to compare. Um, do, 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 do. Mouth shapes, uh, mouth comp. Whoa, uh, mouth charts, animation. Do, 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 slow internet, slow internet. Okay, let's see. I had a whole bunch open last week, but I didn't think to open them again. Let's see. Let's see if we can find one that we saw last week. Maybe this one. Yeah, maybe this one will stay here. Okay, so we have all of these mouth shapes right here. The consonants, you're very organized with your um, labeling. Uh, we got our, oh my gosh, our C, our closed teeth. That's pretty good. That's pretty, that looks pretty good. Uh, so we got this, we got, where's our E's? Uh, our E's are this one. So here, uh, that looks pretty good. We have the E. This one we might want to extend upon. So you might want to have a couple different shapes of this one. Oh, hey, just Daniel. <laughs> Hello. Uh, right here, your E's. Uh, you might want to have a couple of these just so you have an extra, like, uh, like a bigger eh. Uh, if, like, I'm, I'm imagining, like, eating a Whopper right now, you know, like, tiny, tiny Whopper bite versus a full Whopper bite. Um, if you can kind of understand what I'm saying there. Uh, do, 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 where the picture go? Mm, 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 mm. Oh, how did I lose it? There it is. All right. Oh, Mabel, you're okay. You're okay. <laughs> no. Uh, all right. We talked about the E, the F, and the V. This one looks really good. Um, you really have that, that like bite down, uh, pretty well. So that's really good. It'll be, we'll have to figure out how to do these lines, but I think that it's going to work. Um, the TH you have right here, the th, um, the th, uh, the M. BP, MBP, you got this right here, also excellent. Um, the L, you've got, it's, it's disgusting, it's so great. <laughs> All right, and then we got the O, let's see. So it's gonna be fun to line up, I'm already having fun. Uh, All right, the O, so we might need another, what I'm thinking is you might want another, like, you have, like, the, this is your, like, the big O, but you might want, like, an even smaller O, like, a little O, like that. Uh, so, to, to give you the Q and the U sounds, we usually do have the two O mouths. 
So that's what I that's what I would think. You might want to like just have another version of this, uh, just so you have a couple of the layers. That I mean layers. I mean like how like the stages of how open your mouth is. So like you have the the little the, like here we've got the ch. So they're like a lot closer, but not quite what you have, um, or not quite touching. I should say uh, more like this one. So something in between. Which one is the C? So something between this. No, this one and this one. This one would be, the, this would be like your closed teeth. This is your E, it's a little open, but you might want to have another, uh, like a, a wider one. So I'm thinking one that's a little wider than this one on your EEs, and then a smaller O shape. Um, let me go to, let me go back to that picture. Let me just make sure. Uh, you've got the TH on the front. You've got the R at the back. The R at the back. Let me see. Do we need an R? So, okay. So an R, if you wanted to add an R shape, um, an R shape would kind of look a little bit like your E, but it would have the tongue at the back of the mouth. So like when you go R, you can feel your tongue kind of go back here. So that would be, that's probably the ones that I would ask, I would say. Um, the, how many mouths is that? So that's, uh, that's three that we're adding, I think. So we've got the, the, the wider open E mouth, which is more like it'll turn into the A, to the A and the A. Um, do, 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 do. Then we have the smaller O and the R. So that's three shapes. Um, and I think that's good. I think that would be good. Mm -hmm. And then to organize that, you would kind of keep them in succession. So the you the one that I'm talking, it's hard to have, I can't put these together. The, the R and the open E's would be right here. You'd put them right here. So the, the more open E and the R mouth would be going right here. Uh, and then the smaller O would be the last one. So it'd probably be right next to the, to this bigger one. Uh, the wider O mouth, O shape. Um, do, 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 do. And I think I think that's it. I think that, and then I think that you've got them all. And then you, if you wanted to add, uh, what, what would you consider this to be neutral, Brett? Is this the, like a neutral pose, uh, a neutral mouth shape, like no emotion or it look it, like it, it just automatically comes across as so snarly and snarky and like hissy. Like this character just hisses. <laughs> I feel like maybe it doesn't. I don't know. What does it sound like to you? <laughs> to me, it's just air coming through those teeth um like what like floss all right so now that we have kind of discussed the shapes let's see how it uh let's see how it ended like how it how it lines up and poses so this is where we're gonna have a little bit more fun let me bring in the let me bring these back in so we need this activate i'm gonna put a composite just so that i have my background assets more organized to my reference put this down here instead and let's make this a lot smaller i can use the peg or i could go into this image itself so what's nice about the bitmaps uh, the Toon Boom vector bitmaps. Uh, okay, let's bring this over. I'm just gonna start it here. It needs to be a little bit smaller. So right there, I'm using the. Um, I'm, I'm just using the drawing. So I haven't actually used the peg. I just resized the drawing a little bit there, but I'm gonna use the peg, to to line it up. So let's see. How do I want to do this? Let's if I put it forward. Uh, no, let's do, when I grab it, it's going to be opaque. This is like the biggest debate. Um, I 
do you put your uh, where do you put your transparency on your reference because a lot of times when you go to grab it you lose your transparency and then you can't see what you're sizing uh, so I'm gonna put my transparency on my character real quick I'm just gonna do it that way and let's see let's put this the goal here I know we haven't drawn any of the teeth but what we need to do is kind of line up so here we're gonna have to, so this is something uh, that you're gonna wanna, wanna do for your next round, Brett, is we need to see how it connects to the face of the character. So this one I'm having a hard time lining up uh, because I can't see exactly where it would go. So if I bring up, I'll bring up another image. I'll go to this one though. So here, so this is, is this is Jake. Um, Jake from Adventure Times, or sorry, Finn, Jake's the dog. Uh, do, 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 do. I want to say I've not made that mistake often, but I do. Uh, all right, so we've got the character here, and you can see the whole face. And so the whole face lets us register the mouth to the character, so we know exactly where that mouth shape has to go. Hey, Bass Birdie, welcome back. I hope Rass Birdie comes in too, because you two need to meet. <laughs> Um, so, okay, so this is a, this is, uh, the mouth on the original drawing would be the neutral. Okay, so I drew them in a way that they line up right along the cheekbone. But, but because we don't see the cheekbone, we can't line them up. So I can see here that there's a line that it connects, but there's, we have two different jaws here, so we have to kind of... Be aware let me bring this one back let me see uh, let me see let me get rid of the slide deactivate uh, let's bring this back and go activate all right so it's a bit too far so like I'm assuming you are picturing something like this and then I think this is too big make it a little smaller get it to fit in there just gonna something like that you can see it I'm like pretend flipping yeah <laughs> aren't they fantastic I know the Brent you can tell that you're really into the old style animation here you're I almost want to show the first variation that you did because all I told you was to push it. I didn't give you any more um, advice <laughs> or direction. I just said push your poses. Your the the first the first uh, set of drawings was they were just really subtle. You had um, you had the shapes there, but it looked like your character was just it just looked like your character was whispering, kind of talking like this. And so after I said push it you really went for the big expressions so that's why I think this is really cool and I, I also wanted to like line it up to make sure it looked good um, before we before we started to build build it but these are gonna be this is gonna be wild <laughs> okay and, uh, we'll figure this out today because uh, today is jaw day all right uh, so I guess this is kind of I think this is probably as good as this is gonna get um, right here so let's say let's build the mouths on frame 20 I mean frame 10 uh, let's get Scully let's put Scully up till frame 20 f5 all right f5 f6 uh, no, F6. Set the keyframes. Okay, and let me bring in the mouths. Looks like they're good. Alright, so let's slide this over. Six for the next frame. Alright, so all I'm doing is I'm just sliding the jaw over, trying to line up the top with the bottom now that I can kind of see it Whoop, I don't want it to go down I want it to be uh, here 
So this is the only this is the only thing. It's hard to see exactly how these teeth are lining up. Oh, I don't want to go down uh, like this. So I'm kind of I'm trying to do my best to imagine it, and I'm wondering if. Okay, let's do each one first. Let's just get all these them lined up. <laughs> we are going to do our best <laughs> to follow these. So this one's really this one's really tricky. Do you kind of see what I'm trying to do, Brett? Here. Um, okay, wait. Uh, there's a line on the top right of each. I included where it looks like it would attach to the line of the cheekbones. That's where I would connect it to the original. So I think that means this. So like that, is that what you're, is that right? So I should be lining it up almost with the, the other end of the jaw. So this one would be here, is that correct? <laughs> it's disgusting, it's in a good way. No. <laughs> uh, Halloween shout outs, here we come. <laughs> okay, all right, so this looks good. Uh, all right, so that means, so does this one look good? You're going to have to give me like the, the ultimate, are these too far back then? Should this be up here? Okay. Drawing by drawing CD, CDG. How is this? Let me, I'll zoom in. This one can move upward. Am I looking at this line right here? This is what connects. Okay, well, how about this? What I need from you for next week is I need to see more of the jaw to, or the more of the skull to see how it how it connects. Um, And I think that it would be good for you to also see that, to see how it connects with the, with the thing. Let me double, let me quickly check the, um, the original images that you sent me. Let me just check. Okay. Yeah, you definitely have the, okay. Okay. I see in the originals. Okay, so let me show this to the, so this is this, let's bring up the actual one that we're looking at. So, um, this is gonna be, which tooth is this? Which tooth is this? Oh, I don't think I have this tooth. Okay, that's a bad example. All right, uh, do, 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 do. Let's, what's the next one? The next one is this one. Okay, so if we line up the EE -E mouth, I see it now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to. So this here, I have. I can see. I should post these on my Instagram uh, so that these are actually accessible. But here you can see that you have um, the jaw attached to the face, uh, and this is this is kind of what I'm gonna need from you for the next one. So like, when you put all of those drawings in one in one drawing. Um, you want to keep the skull with the jaw so that I can clearly see how it, I do see how you are attaching it, but just so that we can see, because what we're going to talk about today is, um, I'm going to bring this up one more time. So kind of like this, so we can see the whole character's head, uh, and the mouth shapes. So something like this, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. and the thing that we're going to have to pay attention to is because we're going to use, I'm going to, these mouth shapes are changing a lot. Uh, and because we're not doing traditional animation, we're doing cutout. Um, so we're going to be morphing from shape to shape. So I have to set up a system today that will allow for this flexibility. 
<laughs> which is going to be fun. Um, but uh, what I need, what I'm going to need is as much consistency that you can give me in the jaw and the teeth. So it's okay that they're changing shape, but what I, what I won't be able to do is, let's see, like I can't really create these other lines like this. This is going to be really difficult um, because we're going to have the, the jaw shape. We're going to have the teeth, uh, the individual teeth and the tongue. And so little details like this are going to be hard to transcribe over, especially if they're kind of morphing. So something to kind of keep in mind that that's going to be really difficult for me to translate. So, uh, but I will do my best. I, we can add, we can add something there so that you have like a line. I just, I also don't want to create something that's so difficult to animate that it's not possible. Um, but to go from all of these shapes, like you'll be able to set up a map. What's cool about this is you would be able to set up some sort of master controller to almost like a, like a scroller. Um, so that you'd actually be able to see these mouth shapes kind of transforming. It might not be as clean as you want it, but it, it is possible to do with something like this, the way we're going to build this. So uh, let me make sure this is still connected on all. Looks like this is good. Um, we're going to have, yeah, we have some, some of the, the shapes are getting bigger and smaller. And I think with this set of mouths, you can really see it. Um, I do think that your mouth gets a little smaller on the V and the F like because you are biting your lip um, and in this case he's biting pretty hard uh, do, 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 do. but try to this one looks a little bit maybe a little bit smaller than the rest of them I'm just gonna I mean we'll have to change we'll have to do this again next week I'm gonna make this one a little bit bigger and attach it there um, just so that it's not getting too small Uh, let's see, and this goes here. Um, th 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 very well done, though. Uh, like, really well done, Brett. Uh, all right. All right. Uh, so let's see, this one I might want to make a little bit bigger as well. Your, you want to keep in mind, so this is how, this is how jaws work, right? This is, uh, the mouths are obviously supposed to be warping it. Yes, of course, of course. But we also want it to make sure that it makes as much sense as possible. So think about your, if you think about your, um, like I know that, I know we said that the teeth are going to move and that's going to be like part of the fun, but, uh, you really want to think about like, cause your, your jaw, your bottom jaw is able to move around and you can, you know, you can dislocate it and stuff. I mean, don't actually do it, but, um, your bottom jaw is going to be able to free float, but your top jaw is connected right behind. Essentially it's like your ears. So your, your bottom jaw is actually connected right behind your ears, but you want to make sure that your everything that's attached to the skull of the head, that part, that part shouldn't be moving too much. So I want you to try to ground the top of the jaw you can have your teeth moving but try to keep this portion kind of locked so it's not moving so much and then your your bottom jaw you can have as much fun with as you want and as long as i can see where it's connected um that should work for me does that make sense uh, i want to make sure that that's really clear uh so that we can we can be able to well i'll rig the mouth today and we will be posing the mouth next week. Because I will show you what this is going to look like. You're going to see this kind of come to life. So we want to make sure it's not popping up and down. So this looks great. Like, look at this. That looks phenomenal. Uh, but which one was it that was just popping? I saw something popping. So this one here, I like how the E's just flare out the side. Uh, we're going to try to stick with this as much as possible. 
Um, we're going to try to keep the teeth. I almost want, I almost don't want your teeth at the top of your jaw to move so much. Like, what do you think? Like, do you see, you can see here, this one looks a little bit crowded. I don't know if this is connected in the right spot, but I love the idea of the teeth going from like, from like super in to super out and like everything in between. But I'm wondering if they should be moving, if they're moving too much around and, and they're just kind of, they're kind of getting squished at the top. That's the, that's the part that I, I don't want to see popping around too much. This looks so good. Um, this one here has an upper lip curl too. This is a very different design and same with this one. Uh, we don't have that upper lip curl added to our rig right now. Um, we don't want the top portion to look like it's moving too. No, you don't want to have the top. You want to have the top portion moving. The teeth are okay. But you don't want them sliding around. You you want them, like, they're anchored to your jaw, right? And they're allowed to, like, w this is the hardest thing for me to describe. You want to, them to wiggle. Like, you want them to go like this and like this. But you don't necessarily want the tooth itself to pop from here to here, if that makes sense. Like, you don't want them to be moving around this way, but you want them to be hinging from place. So that's, for the top jaw, I would say you want to stick with the, with, with the rule kind of like that. Um, and then with the, with the bottom jaw, the bottom jaw, I think you can have a lot more flexibility. Um, Cause that, again, that, com that comes out. Uh, your E shape here right now is, well, this angle changes a little bit. Cause here we can see here, it's a little bit more of a front view because we can see the back of your, like the top of your teeth. Um, does it make that harder to animate? Uh, what, what do you mean, what does it make it harder to animate? That the teeth would be hinged from the top? No, that would make it easier to animate. This is going to be harder to animate. <laughs> and and I, I want to make sure it reads really well too. So I think that having it, having the top, having the top teeth, kind of planted where they are and then having them hinge in whatever direction that you want they can uh, do whatever but your your bottom jaw is where you're gonna have more flexibility um, we can do we can do these expanding teeth it means that we're gonna have to put deformers on everything which is gonna that's gonna be hard to animate um, but we're gonna do that part together so it's not impossible um, do, 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 do. let's see yeah it's more about the details that are being added because there's like a little bit of an upper lip that you're giving the character right here which I'm not prepared to add into the rig I mean again we can add something but you're adding a lot of it I do want to make this I do want to make sure that this skeleton is also animatable too so that people want to <laughs> people want to dive in there <laughs> and get in uh, D, 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 D. So I don't want to add too many extra pieces, but let's see. Uh, oh, I got an, a double. And this one. There we go. All right. So we got this to this. This looks good. This looks good. And, and if you're off a little bit too, I can always, um, when I'm rigging this, I can also... I can show you, like we have to make adjustments like this all the time for when you go from a rig to a design. So we'll be, we'll be doing that. It's not, uh, it's not the end, the end of the world. Uh, this one right here, this one right here, this is a tough mouth shape. As much as I love the design, this is going to be hard to put this jaw into shape. So we're going to have to see, we're going to have to see, we're going to have to add a back jaw too for this character. The back of that jaw. Let's see. What does the first one look like? <laughs> yeah, you've got a lot of teeth up here that are kind of disappearing and reappearing. So we want to make sure that it's as close as possible. Because we're not, where, we, where do we put these teeth? Where do we put these teeth when we're 
here. I can slide them forward. That's what I would do. I would just slide them forward. And hide them. But then you're going to have teeth kind of sliding back and forth at the back of the jaw. So I don't want to, I don't think that that's going to, that's not, I don't think that's going to look great uh, when we get into there. So that's a, maybe that's something that we, and by we, I mean you, <laughs> uh, have to kind of figure out how to get around. How do we do, or you always just leave those teeth there instead of hiding them like this. Let me know if you're understanding what I'm, let me know if what I'm saying is clear. Uh, because this is a very, like this one right here, we get into, it's, it's beautiful, but it's getting into a completely different design, um, design style, because it's hiding, it's like all of a sudden there's a lip that's coming in and hiding a bunch of your teeth, which we're not going to be able to do. So something like this, we'll be able to put the back jaw or the top jaw behind, like we'll be able to close the mouth and you'll have the coverage of those teeth, but those teeth are going to be there. So you might want to keep those in your designs as you're doing it. Um, and this is just feedback too, specifically for uh, creating mouth comps for cutout animation. This isn't necessarily, like if this was totally traditional, you might have a lot more flexibility because going into a traditional animation like this, you're just drawing the shapes, the mouth shapes. Um, so you would have a lot more flexibility and you do have a little bit more leeway, but for cutout, we're going to have to, we're going to have to try to find somewhere in between where we have all the flexibility, all of the, <laughs> the fun teeth wiggles, <laughs> uh, and then cut out. So let's, let's dive into rigging this mouth so you can kind of see what that looks like, but let me know if you've got any questions, Brett, or anybody else in the chat, um, let me know. And uh, let's start diving in and creating this mouth because I have an idea to make it faster uh, so that we're not we're not wasting too much time dee, 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 on the build. All right, so I'm going to put this here. All right, and we're going to get into this tooth. We're going to bring up our time. Our dee, dee. Oh, I have to do hierarchy as well still. Okay. Dee, 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 dee. Where is the... Add a nostril line. Well, I'm not going to do that right now. So let's see. That's this one. Top jaw. Let me highlight that one. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. This one. Top jaw. Bottom jaw. Why is it adding pegs? KD. Top jaw. B T M J. Okay. All right. Let's let's find some shortcuts, shall we? And let me bring the mouth forward. Okay. All right. So all I did right there is just adjust my transparency so that I could see. A little less of the design. 50% was just a little bit harsh. I'm fighting the sun today, so. Which I'm not upset about. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Uh, no, it's okay, but it's challenging. I mean, I want the challenge. That's what I like about rigging. <laughs> uh, it's going to be interesting. We'll figure it out. I, I just think that you want to stay a little more true right here to the design that you have. Um... We're gonna figure it out. This is, rigging is problem solving, so we'll have to get in there. No, you're you're fine, you're fine. Um, and I'm letting you know what you what you can and can't do, and you're exploring this uh, for the first time. I wanna make sure that I'm being clear in the example and like the explanation, that if you can understand what I'm, what I'm describing to you, uh, so that you can put that forward on your next, on your next uh, design. your next iteration of the design. All right, so we're gonna need teeth. We're gonna need, let's do the bottom jaw first. Let's hide all this stuff. Activate, deactivate. I'm pretty sure uh, all these teeth I wanted to use. 
come over here. Let's put this up. I don't know what is this. Add nostril line. It's a second. All right. Let's bring this over. Uh, we are a full house today. Uh, welcome to the, welcome to the rig along, everybody. We are just building cartoons. <laughs> uh, if you have any questions about the process, tr uh, feel free to ask. Okay, I believe I understand what you mean. Perfect. And again, you can always shoot me a message uh, during the week. And... Uh, get your questions clarified. It's a lot easier when there's a visual example and it's it's hard to, without having Toon Boom open and having them all pop up and line up against each other, um, you can to, to see. Actually, you know what I could do? I mean, I mean I'd hate to, I hate to spend another like uh, too much time on this, but you know what, you can do this. Control cop, oops, that's not what I wanted to, uh, control copy. Control B, Control B. Uh, do, 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 do. Create new columns. Always create drawing files. Hit OK. Now we can make a couple of these. Is it gonna make it? Because the other thing that you can do to kind of make sure that your mouse shapes are lining up, I'm just gonna paste special again. I hate I hate using this because it always freaks me out, but. Uh, I'm going to paste the special again. I'm doing it. Something that you can do. Let me hide this. Uh, is you can take your you can take your your mouth, your mouth shapes and I've got three versions of the same drawing right now, but what that allows me to do is it kind of lets me take these and I can kind of line them up in a weird way. So let me show you this. So if I go here, you can kind of see all of your mouths on top and you can kind of see where they are not lined, like nothing's lining up. And that's not a bad thing. It's just that what it's going to do is it's going to cause a lot of movement in the face when, um, when the images are flipping. Like you have to remember too, when you're doing a lip sync, your mouth shapes are moving fast and so they're flashing these drawings are flashing on screen um, and so you want certain things to line up so i i really think that if you take another pass at that top jaw uh, to make sure that there's it's really anchored in there then you can have a lot more fun with the with the with the lower jaw i think the lower jaw you'll get away with a lot more flexibility whereas the top jaw you kind of want it to be you kind of want it to be leading into the character's flowing mouth sh lower jaw, if that makes sense. It's kind of like your middle ground. So you don't want it to be moving too much because it'll be really distracting, but it'll also be like the bridge. So it'll be moving more than say the skull. The skull will be not moving so much. The top jaw will be moving, but like restricted. And then the bottom jaw, you'll, you can have a lot more fun with. You still want things to line up with your bottom jaw, but it's uh, you'll get away with a lot more there. So if that helps, if that, if kind of lining it up that way, you can kind of see right here how everything kind of lines up with the big jaw, and you've got all these uh, teeth pieces that are showing. But let me get rid of these. I don't need to have all these copies of the mouth. But that's another way to kind of see how things are lining up. Do, do, do. Go back to the first one. Okay, all right, so now we've got all the teeth. Deactivate. All right. Okay, we need the bottom jaw to control P 
and we need the teeth. All right, so let's start with our top teeth. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm only going to build one tooth or maybe two teeth. Uh, and let me bring this one up real quick again. I'm going to move it down. I'm going to use another peg to move it down. see I'm always labeling my pegs so that I know exactly what it is that they're doing so, I'm, so I can always just deactivate it and bring it back to where I need it to be all right so I'm just looking at the teeth right now I'm trying to figure out how many deformers are on each one I'm thinking four is enough I don't want to go much more than four um, which but that also means that any tooth with a chip in it is going to be really difficult um, I'm not going to be adding, there's like little tiny details, I'm not going to be able to add, well I shouldn't say I'm not going to be able to add, if I add it, it's not going to be editable. Um, Alright, let's see. The other thing, uh, in your original design, you've got this big black outline, and it's part of your, it's part of the aesthetic but you're gonna be losing a lot of this stuff in here as well. So that's something that I want you to keep in mind. Um, man, I'm telling you, Brett, you got designer blood in you. Um, uh, it's really just the technical stuff that I'm teaching you right now. Uh, the specificities, the specificities of animation um, that you need to learn, which you can find online. These are things that I'm sure you could find online. Uh, top tooth. Is that what I want to label this? Top tooth. Mm -hmm. Okay, and how do we cheat this? I'm going to create this tooth here. Let's see. Activate my layers properly. All right, so this is a tool property of six. Tool property, the uh, line thickness. Okay, and let's do this. Um, 10 points to anybody in the chat who knows what uh, f of my favorite tool I'm going to use <laughs> to, to create all these teeth really fast. Kind of cheat <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Where's my pen? Oh, this, is, this is a tough one. This is going to be a tough one. I've never built a mouth like this. So this is really something. All right, let's see. This is one of those things that you build that's conditionally only does something for one, one purpose. All right, let's. All right, so we've got our tooth on our line art. We got our outline on our outline, our outline on our line art layer. I'm gonna fill this in and put it on my color art layer. Come on, Control X, Control V. Gonna, it's the, uh, it's going to be the bone color. And on this copy, 
I'm gonna bring it up here and this is our detail line. Now we don't actually see any details in this line, but I'm gonna create it anyway. Because I think that it's, and if we wanna remove it, we can, but I think that's what's gonna, it's gonna give it a, an extra layer of, um, Z depth. So let's see how it looks. All right, so now we've got one tooth and I'm going to create the deformer. Control P, uh, envelope, and I know I can't see it right now, but E. Okay, let me bring over. We're gonna need we're gonna need these. Copy, control V. Copy view. Okay, I'm just pulling over one of our layer filter setups here that I've stolen from the other thing. I'm gonna pop in this composite only so that I can just do this. And then I can plug this in. Uh, and I don't need this second composite. So now I'm running my, my drawing through the layer filters properly. Um, and I want to see, I'm gonna hide my top jaw. I wanna make sure that I can see my my overlay um, and all I've done is just disconnected the line art layer so that I can focus on where my artwork is for the top of the tooth make sure that my deformer lines up with that overlay the details and Mabel is snoring it's my favorite Mabel sound. Seem to have the original drawing lined up to the node drawings. I don't have the, sorry, Brett, I don't understand that last uh, message. You don't seem to have the original drawings lined up to the node drawings. So now we've got this. I'm going to rehook that up. Oops. And all right, now we got one tooth. Da, 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 da. My favorite node. We want to set this pivot. We are going to set this pivot so that we don't have to set it later. Ooh, yeah, and this is where I'm going to have it hinge. I'm going to have it hinge. Uh, on this one, I'm going to have it hinge. Ooh, I want it to be here. You know what? We'll just use the, we'll use the middle. When in doubt, go with the middle. Uh, we'll do that. And now what I'm going to do, instead of having all of these drawings represent teeth, I'm going to do this. So copy, and I'm going to paste special. I'm going to use the window. I was making sure. Uh, always create drawing files. Uh, palettes are fine. Create new columns. Hit OK. And now I've got another tooth. It's going to be in the same spot. I'm going to switch back to my, and I'll move it for a quick second, but it'll be like so. So I'm basically, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to essentially steal one tooth and make a couple. So I got one, I'm going to make this one, I'm going to use it for this one, uh, maybe this one as ooh, this one where it's maybe three, I'll probably do these three, um, let's do one more, control V, control B, and then they get a little smaller, so I'll make, I'll make some smaller teeth, 
How many do we have? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven teeth up top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so they're pretty good. Uh, I can't even tell here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Uh, all right. So we've got three. One, two, three. I wonder if I should do the fourth one as a big one. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do one more. All right. So the first four teeth are going to be these big ones, and then we'll do three smaller ones. And so now I'm going to use static transformations to put these in place. Mm -hmm. So static transformations. I'm going to need a lot more than just seven of them. So copy, view, view, view. I'm going to add one more. Actually, might as well do all. I'm going to do seven, but I'm going to add one more so that it's there for the bottom teeth. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to put the static transformation underneath the tooth peg and above the deformer. I'm doing this the slow way. Let me. Pop those in. And so the same way that we use the static transformations for the eyes, I know we haven't gone and done the eye before or again today, but uh, we put the cadence, the character, uh, that one is also, that one we've used static transformations. This is one of my favorite tools. Uh, it's, as you can see, I'm building these uh, teeth very quickly. Um, and so I love them <laughs> and I'll show you why I love them. Uh, the first one, we actually don't need a static transformation. That tooth is in its place, so I can unhook that one. Uh, this one right here, we are going to, I'm going to rotate it so that it kind of, kind of matches. So like this, and I'm going to put this one here. I'm not worrying about like how, Maybe I will line it up so that it's a little bit more from the top. Let's see, maybe we got one more. So I'm just kind of matching this up. I'm going to pretend that tooth is a little bit wider than it is. Um, but I got these that works perfectly. And the next thing that we're going to do is take that position because right now the static transformations uh, if I reset these, they're just going to pop back to where they, where they were. So if we go inside our static transformations and I've got three, this is literally my favorite tool. It's so easy to use. I'm just going to say bake immediate parent transformations and it's going to take all the information that I just put here, uh, into here or into here, into the static transformation. So bake, uh, and you can see that it works because it's, it's popped out of the way um, and so now I'm just gonna hit reset and it puts it back so I'm gonna do that one more time so this will be the third tooth now so we're gonna use the static transformation to suck in all the information from this peg here so I'm just gonna hit bake when it pops and the numbers are added down here we know it's good uh, the only thing is we have a double negative, so that's why it's pushed all the way over here. We've got information here and here. So when I reset this peg, that's how we put it back to normal. That resetting is really important when you're using a static transformation. Um, do, 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 do. So we'll do that one more time. So we're going to bake the immediate parents. We got the, the numbers. It's moved all the way over here. So now we can reset it, and that's because it's started from here, so it's basically doubled doubled its movement. And now we can set our, def our, uh, our pegs. I know I don't like to set too many pegs 
during this process, but I think for this te for the teeth it's going to be kind of necessary. Yeah. All right. So there we go. Now we've got uh, the four four front teeth, four main teeth done. I'm going to do. I'm going to make more space. I'm going to need way more space. This, this jaw is going to take up a lot of room. So let me move everything. I don't even think I'm going to need all those. So let me delete them. <laughs> all right. And we need a bottom jaw. We need the space for the bottom jaw. All right. So here we go. Right now our bottom jaw is attached over here, but we're going to be attaching it to this composite here. Oh, I, did I name this? Sorry, this is the top jaw. So the top jaw is going to be with the top teeth. The bottom jaw is going to be with the bottom jaw. So let me move that over here. Okay, to reset, is it control Z or something? Uh, to reset pegs, it's R. R is to reset. Um, control Z will just undo some, uh, selection or undo the last action. The tooth you're making there, I don't have the drawing behind it to reference. The tooth I'm drawing, oh, I don't even know which tooth I was drawing now. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. here. Uh, top jaw is here. Move this over. We're going to have the top jaw. Top of the jaw will be at the back. I'm going to do one more tooth and I'm going to create the, the smaller teeth here. And I think I'm going to do six. I think I'm going to use six for these. I'm trying to be aware that these ones are more square than these ones. These ones are really come to a, to a circle. So I want to, I can't use the same teeth for the top and the bottom. Where to go? Okay. So let's, but I think I'm going to be able to get away with reusing some of these here. Okay, so here's the next tooth. Uh, we're going to go and create a square. It's just going to be a little bit smaller. We want this one to be a little. You know what? We'll just stick with the we'll stick with the regular rectangle. Turn that off. It's kind of getting stuck. I drew everything on the underlay, so put this. Copy, copy. I always draw on the line art layer, but I guess in a way you could always draw on the overlay and then copy everything down. It kind of almost flows a little better that way. If you're trying to save a couple minutes, that might be something that you want to explore. Not gonna. Okay, 
And you know what? I just made changes, so better. I better uh, delete what I have and re. I'm just repasting the artwork because I made changes after the fact. Um, all right, so this is going to be. Former one, two, three, four. Um, the nice thing about using transparent lines, too, is that you can kind of see them, so I don't even have to go into those those art layers and delete or not delete but unhook my line art layer so that I can kind of see that underlay or the overlay gosh I get all my art layers so confused uh, do, 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 do. But I don't know if you can see that through your computer Place it. There we go. And I think that I'm pretty, I'm pretty well connected there. All right. All right. So now I've got a new tooth. It's a little bit smaller than the other tooth. And I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm just going to create crappy view B. So that's one. That's two. That is the top jaw. And I'm going to have to do another one for the bottom jaw so it stays kind of circular. Let's bring these down. Uh, I said I haven't worked on a Mozart like this before. Have you ever worked on a rig that was a skeleton before? I've definitely made skeletons. There's always a Halloween episode <laughs> or, a, or a ghost episode. Skeletons I've made. Uh, bones I've definitely made. Um, uh, a, jaw like, a jaw like this, no. I've definitely, like there's been some shows where you get like if you think about SpongeBob when they do a close up of Sponge of SpongeBob and it's like a, a live action sponge. It's like a real sponge. I think that's one of my favorite gags in cartoons when when they when they zoom in on something and then you see it in such a greater detail but it's disgusting. So I've built feet like this with disgusting toenails. <laughs> So, uh, you know, I've, I've, and it's not a foot like this because toes, you only have five, but, um, <laughs> but, uh, but they have like the wiggly, like they all had, like each knuckle had to wiggle. There was hairs coming off the toes, um, toe jam, a, a broken nail, all that disgusting stuff. All of that disgusting stuff would be, would be in there. Um, so I've definitely built stuff like that. <laughs> But I've never built a jaw this 
this flexible. No, this is going to be a little bit different. Um, all right, we've got top jaw. So now we just need to place, put them all in place. So this one's in its correct spot. And this will be the next one. I should have set that keyframe. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll, I'll temporarily move this one for now. Go a little bit more. And I'll show you how to put the, the I'll show you how to put the peg where you want it. Alright, so now that looks pretty good. Um, let's pin those down. Okay, so bake immediate parents transformation, hit close. Bake immediate transformation, hit close, reset these two pegs, put them back where they need to go. And now because I didn't set this peg before I set the, I didn't even, you know what, I didn't even label these teeth. Uh, what I could do. Because you know how I feel about my my labeling. Um, okay, so layer properties. This is the peg. We're gonna call this uh, back BK top tooth. Okay, copy view. And all I've done is copied and pasted the the new uh, the name that I want, and I'm gonna do this. This is the fast way to do it. So I'm leaving the static transformations because they have all the information that I actually want, and I'm just gonna <laughs> just gonna copy, <laughs> copy. Here we go, paste special. <laughs> And, oh wait, I didn't set my pivot point. Let me set my pivot point. So there we go. Let me delete that. And copy this over one more time. Control V, Control B. Control V, Control B. Okay, and put, put that back in and they should pop right into place. That's the nice thing about static transformations is they hold where you want them. And then now I've got, doo -doo 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 -doo. oh, I didn't get to, these pegs didn't move, uh, but I will move those. Oh, you know what? I can do this, put the static transformation on top. That's why it didn't bring the peg with it. So I've got these in the wrong spot. There you go, I promised, making mistakes, but we're fixing them. So that'll be the same for these ones. How come these ones are, did I move those independently? Ooh, what's the difference? Now, I've, now my brain is wanting to know what the difference is between the two. Um, <laughs> now these ones I, I moved independently let's see well let's just undo I'll put this down below and we'll leave the pegs as they are that's probably a good I don't think that's gonna cause might cause confusion on your end but uh, when you go to rig it but I don't think that's gonna I think it's gonna be pretty fine with the animation on the animation side of things. Okay, so now we got our top jaw done. Let's get it working. Uh, we've got, what is this one? This is our cheekbones, I think, and our nose bridge. Let's bring 
this over here. Uh, we're going to need another composite for the bottom jaw. The bottom jaw is on top of the top jaw. go actually I think that these need to be plugged in at the bottom so they're gonna go right here top jaw bottom jaw and I have a feeling the skull will be on top but we don't need to worry about that right now. We'll put our bottom jaw here. Mm -hmm -hmm. And if we want, we can see how this kind of, we can do a quick, um, a quick little networking thing. It's, uh, we'll just grab the auto patch from the top jaw because the top jaw is going to be cutting all of the teeth that we see here. So let's see how let's see how these teeth form. So all we gotta do is grab the auto patch and put it into each one of the teeth, and it's gonna automatically start cutting the tops of all our teeth. We had the deformer, you can really start to see that there. And Brett, you should start to see the design, how it's going to start to look. I can use the deformers to um, kind of edit the teeth so that they match the other teeth, the teeth in the design. I cheated the rigging, but we don't need to cheat the design. All right, and now that's working. down a little it's looking good and now we can now we can use our deformers to kind of connect them where they need to be and I'll give them the actual uniqueness that they kind of each have Mm -hmm. all right there we go so you can start to you can see it I can see it all right let's keep going we got a bottom jaw uh, let's do some quick teeth again so let's bring in, how many do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four of these long, thinner ones. One, two, three, four, five, six of the wider, smaller ones. So maybe four, maybe three, and then another three smaller teeth right here. So this is kind of the limitations that we're going to have to work with, uh, Brett, when we go to do these mouth shapes next week is 
I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to be building the teeth here. I'm not going to be adding any extra teeth. I don't think you've really added any extra teeth though. Um, and then we'll try to figure out a way to get these to deform in the, the shapes that you want. Okay. So you've got the, we've got this three smaller teeth back here and here. So the, the very back of the jaw, I'm making three smaller teeth. So the deformers that I add today are going to limit the shape that you're going to be able to get. But things can always stretch. It's hard to get things to compress. So since they're small, it should be fine because uh, it looks like your teeth always get a little bit bigger. They don't really get smaller. Um, it's this right here. We won't be able to we won't be able to nail this pose because this is a completely different angle. Um, but uh, the front teeth right here, you'll still always have like the ability to have those bigger thinner long finger teeth almost like on the top and the bottom like little fingers uh you'll have those and then we'll have like the the, the shorter stubbier ones in the middle so i think that gives you a pretty good variation um and with the deformers you'll be able to get all of that squash and stretch per tooth all right so let's uh let's draw let's draw the first tooth Let's do this one right here as the first tooth. So I'm going to, what layer am I on? Okay. And we're going to have a lot of fun with the details on this one. This one will look really good. I already know it's going to look really good. Okay, copy. View. Cut. Paste. Uh, it's super important that you remember to pinch your lines right now because if you don't pinch your lines, uh, you'll have to do that in all the teeth and that's just annoying. All right, and then we'll do it down here as well. Uh, wait a minute, I did this wrong. Your top of the teeth don't have down here. Uh, I'm going to make it a little bit somewhere in between there so that we have this detail, but not quite. make sure that we have our closed envelope deformer here. Okay. All right. 
So this is going to give us the flexibility at the bottom. And if I oh, if I add one of these, copy view, we can I can show you where those deformers are lined up. There we go. That looks pretty good. Oh, and again, I have to name this, so we'll do the front bottom tooth. Oops. Not on my naming game today. PTM tooth. Okay, now let's make four copies, so we're going to do uh, Control-B, hit OK, now I know that I'm doing this right now, I'm going to hit Control-Shift-B just to save myself from that screen, but I did check. keep this one where it is, but I want to move, I'm going to move this one, copy, view, view, and I'm going to need a whole bunch more, so uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, I think, let's move these down, To make your network a little bit cleaner too, you can just grab the whole thing and see if this will work. Uh, this one? Mm, nope. <laughs> Let's try this one. I don't know why you crisscross them though, but that that worked. Good enough. Mm -hmm. um, animation studios using rigged characters because they feel it goes faster in production. It goes faster in production. Um, it's, it's like the same thing as compound interest. You build something once, you animate it once, and then you get to reuse it. Um, that's that's a huge advantage. Um, just rigging a character in general for a whole season, like you have to think about all the minutes and all the episodes, especially if something goes into second season. There's something called syndicate, and uh, if an episode gets syndicate, which doesn't exist anymore apparently, I don't think that that happens too often now that streaming is really taken over, but back when television was still the ruler, uh, if a show got syndicated, it would, um, I think that's like 100 episodes, so that means that somebody would put in an order for 100 episodes. So with a cutout character, um, you have, it's just so much more efficient <laughs> to create, because uh, if you think about it, with with uh, classical animation, you're you're just you're straight up drawing things. Um, speaking of, like, has anybody seen the Lackadaisy production that just came out? 
that was really beautiful. That's um, that's classical animation. Uh, I know that the Toon Boom trainer, Mary of LaSalle, worked on that one. So she'd been working on that one since I worked with her. So that pilot just came out this weekend or last week. And uh, gosh, she's been working on that for five years, I think, four years. <laughs> so that's that's the difference uh, between rigged animation and, and cutout animation. That, that was in production for a really long time to get it done to do 30 minutes. And I wonder how much, is, I'm not really sure how much is is currently animated, but um, it does take a long, long time. Uh, I think YouTube animation and whatever's going on with Instagram and TikTok, uh, I think that's the that's kind of the future of traditional animation. I'm starting to think anyway. Uh, that's kind of what it, what it feels like to me. Do, do, do. Okay, let's set these. Okay, yeah, and again, if anybody else has any questions about animation, I'd love to try and answer. Um, but a little bit of history for Baz Birdie there. Okay, let's see how, okay, this tooth is in the right spot. This tooth is going to be moved. Uh, do, 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 and I'll set the pegs after. All right, so this one is going to go here. Uh, like so. This one's good. This one, we're gonna move it here. You can see, start to see how efficient this is. I just love this tool so much. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Good. Oh, before I do that, let's set these. One, two, three. All right. Okay, 12. All right. A bake immediate parents, close. Bake immediate parents, close. Bake immediate parents, close. They've all popped out of place. That's great. I'm going to reset them. Hit R. Now I can set these keys these pegs. I'm going to have these down below the root of the tooth. For a mouth comp like this too, um, Brett, uh, you might, like, you will probably make, still make changes. Like, don't be afraid to make changes if you need to after it's rigged. Um, you can use the rig to pose it into the places that you want. So even if we get to a point next week where we're, we're doing the teeth and we're posing them out and we're still having some, some teeth that are kind of like not, you're not really quite sure where to put them, um, that stuff can always be fleshed out in animation, really, a lot of that stuff too. So don't, don't, be, uh, don't be discouraged if you, know, you still wanna make changes. This is a very detailed rig that we're gonna build, and a very specific rig, so it wouldn't be unheard of, because uh, as, a, as a designer, as an animator, you, or a builder, you kinda have to like see all these steps now and how they come together, which is which is why it takes a lot of experience to become an an animator or a rigger in uh, in the first place. But um, just be open that or flexible that you might want to go in and, and 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 make some changes with the with the deformers. But that's why they're there in the first place. 
Do. That's okay. You're doing great. Uh, actually, you should send me your rig file. I'll have to get you to send me my, your rig file at some point, and I will take a look. Um, but you're you're doing you're doing well. Um, the process. What I always try to say with rigging process is like you want to look for the patterns. Um, there's again, there's really only three networks that you're always building. It's the designs that are changing. Uh, but you're always kind of rigging the same thing. So the more you do it, the more the pattern becomes uh, apparent to you. And so that's kind of what I'm always trying to point out. It's why I rig the way that I do, which is very different from a lot of other people. But I'm always kind of saying, like, you put these drawings on these levels and then the rigging will take care of itself. So even if it doesn't look as good as you want it to, it will, it will, as long as you're following the steps, it'll work. Yeah, for the three networks. There's no steps. <laughs> There's no real steps. Uh, we're building cross networks here um, with the auto patches, which is the same network that I built with the fle most flexible, strongest arm for animations or an the Toon Booms Animation Trends event. Um, so that's basically it's basically that, but in T's. <laughs> so. It just takes practice. It takes practice. Takes time. You're you're rigging two skulls. Trying to rig two skulls to do this. Uh, Mabel looks like she wants to go O U T. Can I distract you for a little bit, Mabel? Look this. Look this. Do you want to catch? Will you show them? She's so good at catch. Right. Eight. Oh, set. Ready? Is she on camera? Yes, she is. Okay. Eight. Oh. Oh. Sorry. I'm. Oh. She didn't catch it that time, but she does. <laughs> I think it was me. I was a bad thrower. All right. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Last teeth. Let's get these teeth done. We got one big one, and then we got one small one. So let's put that here. Okay. So we need one of these. Control V. Control V. All right. So this one. Call this one the mid tooth. Uh, mid D T tooth. Control P. And we're going to create the drawing. go off model a little bit to help fill that one in. Um, copy. Oh, what a, shoot, did I just grab a, a drawing that I should not have? Hang on. Do I have another nose? I have a oh look at this I have a this is one of those things okay I have a copied drawing here um, good thing I noticed uh, so I started drawing a tooth on the nose hole but I had another drawing that I grabbed and it was nose hole underscore one um, so I must have copied that drawing uh, so let me break that connection <laughs> and fix that good thing I caught it All right. uh, Mabel are you okay Okay, so I'm just to cop to break this. I'm gonna try this. 
I don't remember if this works. I haven't done this in a while, but I might not want to do it. So let's see if I just create this. And I'm just going to take that drawing out completely. And if it works, uh, I'll be able to change this drawing and not affect the other one. Oops, not that one. Uh, so I'll delete this. All right, so in my library, it'll disappear. That looks good here, but let's make sure that it's still in my nose. Okay, yeah, it is, so I can get rid of the two drawing here. And now they're separate. Yes, perfect. Okay, so now they're disconnected. All I had to do was create a new, a new uh, drawing uh, using the paste special right here. So now I can keep going. Copy, view, view. All right, and these ones don't have I'm going to keep this one solid, I think. We'll see. Well, let's keep this one solid for now. Um, yeah, keep it solid for now. Uh, I don't know. Deformer. do this one a little bit different. We'll do a three point deformer instead of a, we'll see if this will kind of help the design. and now we can make a couple copies okay so we want two of these copy control paste special Two teeth. I'm gonna need two of these. And I want to get through the teeth because um, Mabel wants to go O U T. Well, she knows I can. She can. She can spell. <laughs> okay, so we got the one tooth. Two tooth, three tooth. Oh, shoot, I forgot to, ah, doing too many things, too many teeth, okay, one second, uh, that one's fine, that one's fine, this one, uh, do, 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 do. I have to set these positions before I transform them, okay, I hope that I didn't screw that one up, so let's set them, close them, now we can reset them, 
They should pop to where I want them. That looks good. Okay, and this one is fine. Let's set this one now. Too many static transformations in one location. Okay. Okay, there we go. Let's create some smaller teeth. Okay. Mm -hmm. This one will go behind the jaw. This one will go all the way behind. And then this one will go all the way behind. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Okay, uh, three more teeth. Oh, so many teeth. So many. This is why I leave teeth to the last, to the last minute. <laughs> Sorry, Mabel. Sorry, Mabel. You're good. You're good. You're good. Ten minutes. You can make it. You can make it, baby. Okay. Okay. Three teeth. Three teeth. What have I got here? Uh, this looks like it's a... This is going to be on top. Okay, I want to make sure, I grabbed this, but I want to make sure that I'm not uh, affecting, I have a top jaw, so I have one here, so is this a copy drawing, did I, the perils of writing two hours a week, hey, can you lay down, you can make it. Let's see. So this is how I like to see if it's copied. Yes, it is. Okay. So let's let's get rid of this. Uh, copy view B. Make a paste special. Break the break the clone. It's super dangerous. I don't know how I did that. Delete the original, and I'm gonna make. I'm going to delete uh, that drawing and as long as the other jaw is there, we're good. Okay, so new tooth. Uh, just another square. So this is a lot faster. I know this is still taking me a while, but it's only because there's so many teeth. This is why I don't like um, rigging anything that has uh, piles in it, to be honest. <laughs> uh, when you do like a pile of leaves, you are, you are building a lot of little things. So it's kind of like the teeth here. Uh, I wanted to avoid building as many little things as possible, but uh, I still had to build about, what, four? four teeth to get this whole thing done, but it's a lot faster than building, um, I don't even know how many teeth are in here, 16 or 12. So think of the time saved like that. Do, do, do. Let's turn this off. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, Brett, have you thought of a story for this character? I'm always thinking, like, what, are this, what is this character going to do? But what's the story behind Skelly? Like, I know um, he's a character from your high school days. But what is this character doing now?
and how when he comes alive what are they doing can you give us a little more on the story here you'll get there you'll you'll everybody you know you just start small just start small uh, and you can build your own little your own little YouTube show I mean I call this my show even though it's not a show at all <laughs> I do call it my I do call it my episodes um, okay we got one we need two three more so this is the back bottom tooth top jawbone so this is gonna be the BK BTM tooth Um, you'll notice that I let the program do a lot of the naming for me as well. Um, as long as I've got the first one drawn and labeled properly, um, I will let the the program kind of decide, although it looks like it's doing some fun things with the, with the names. Um, but I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, I don't need to set this one. I need two more. Almost done. One. There we go. Okay. Tooth. And plug in the tooth. Okay, now we can move these around. tooth so it looks like it's kind of in perspective that looks really good um, and I didn't add uh, the deformers let's see if this will work This one doesn't have Okay, let's do this one with the four points. Um let's undo that one. It's a messy start. go in and edit the detail line uh, for these back teeth since I've added a four point deformer. Uh, another way to do this is to be looking at your deformer while you edit your line. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. This is a really quick way. So I'm just going to copy and paste special to see. I think that the 
the former is actually going to go with the new one. Let's see. Yeah, it still works. Control V, Control V. So I'll have to use my static transformation still to, to pin them down, but that works as a quick little shortcut. Copy view. Oh my gosh, so many teeth. So many teeth. Okay. Uh, open. Open. Bake. Close. Bake. Close. So close. Reset. Reset and let's set these. If uh, if Skelly was to have a pilot episode, what would the pilot episode be? Kind of inspired by school in general and the difficulties in learning through school and life. I imagine he's part of a ghoulish slash funny afterlife that revolves around learning. Oh, that's pretty cool. He'd have other spooky looking friends and characters in that world to interact with. I have other characters though, too, that are unrelated to the skeleton. They'd all be in different series. Um, that's awesome. That's really cool. Uh, what I would like to know is what would a pilot episode look like for an after a ghoulish funny afterlife that revolves around learning? Are you are you back in high school? Is it back in high school? Is it a skeleton walk in the halls of your high school? Is it um, is the skeleton a student or is the skeleton a teacher? Um, yeah, what are you learning? <laughs> and what's the challenge? Because there's got to be a challenge as well in here. Uh, that is the four parts of a story. Uh, you've got your character, you know, and what do they want? I'm assuming they want to learn. So there's their, the desire is to learn. And what's the obstacle? That gets in their way. All right, and these teeth are done. I just have to go in and make a couple network changes. Yeah, these teeth work really well. These are going to be really fun to pose, to pose out um, the way that they do their thing. All right, so we got this, 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 and this. Um, I'm going to set some keys. I don't forget. F6. Uh, and let's do some quick cutting of the bottom jaw. So we got to have the auto patch. Um, do, 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 do. So I need one of these. Copy view. Let me just make sure. Oh, Mabel's farts smell so bad. Smell like eggs. Okay, we're almost done. We're almost done. You're being so good. You're being so good, Mabel. Okay, we've got the bottom jaw. Let's cut. this way. Um, <laughs> it's going to take forever. Uh, control H. We'll do this. Oh my gosh, Mabel. <laughs> I may be in the loudest fart you've ever had. Um, okay. Let's pull from here. Let's pull from here. Let's pull from here. And 
the jaw is going to cut all of the teeth. I don't think I have my de detail line set up on the back, uh, the back, the back teeth. But I know that it's there for some of them. Come on, Billy. Okay, so let's see. All right. edit this line real quick. Uh, Brett, how many series are designed in your head? How many how many series do you have? Mm -hmm. Okay, Mabel, okay. All right, that. I once had to make an alligator, and I had to do a whole bunch of teeth and spikes on the back of its tail. That was annoying. <laughs> this, <laughs> that is something that it, this reminds me a little bit of. Uh, all right, we got our, we got our skeleton. Let's hit all. Let's see the whole thing. Oh my goodness. Um, let's hide these, deactivate. Uh, looks like the top jaw is a little too big. I know I tried to do something. Um, I guess we'll have to go with the idea of stretching it is easier than squashing it. So maybe we'll make a thin Okay, so this is going to be the tooth. close as we can. There we go. Let's move the pupil back. B. Reset. All right. So now we've got our top jaw, our bottom jaw. Um, let's go in here real quick. Uh, we've got the full skeleton head. I'm going to delete all the extra drawings. Um, actually, I'm going to I'm going to leave one, and I'm going to delete these ones. I uh, don't need these anymore. Yeah, we'll delete these, we'll delete these, we'll delete this. Looks like somehow I've managed to copy a couple of these drawings so I'm glad I didn't get stuck I don't see anything that's missing completely hopefully I hopefully I'm not I don't have too many of them and I'm deleting them now so what ones are these these ones are blank okay 
All right, so now this is done. Um, I got this blank one, control X. Put it down here. Uh, I've made a couple of comics with cat characters and you're currently working on your third issue and plan to eventually release them all in a collection. I thought a series with them would go really well, having a comic book. Oh, I was just about to say, yeah, you should post your post your link um, to all your animations. Very cool. Yeah, that's a lot. That's the nice thing about being an independent creator. You get to create whatever you want, how much you want, and you just keep going. Um, I think you've got the, like, I know you've got the skills, Brett. I'm, I'm pumped to see where you can take this. Uh, you're going to, this is really going to, probably push your comfort zone, but you're already doing it. <laughs> so you're in now. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so what do we have to do? We have to create our hierarchy next. Uh, we'll create the second eye. Let's do that now since we've done all these. Copy, control V, control B. Is my eye even done? I forget if we finished that last week. Oh, we were starting it last week. We didn't finish it. I don't think we finished it. Mm. And actually, let me do this differently. Uh, for my eye, I'm probably going to have to do this again, but I'm not copying this the right way. I'm going to copy it with this one. I'm going to say clone selected drawings only. Uh, I'm going to do it this way. So there we go. There's my my two eyes I'm gonna do I'm just gonna quickly attach because I want to see the eyes together so next week we do have to finish the we do have to finish the eyes so we're definitely gonna have about two to three more sessions before Skelly is totally finished. Let's put that up. There we go. All right. Let's copy. And let's cut. Oh, and we'll have to adjust that cutter. But there we go. We're getting closer. Almost done. Let me hide some of these things. And that looks so good. <laughs> nice job, Brett. Uh, very cool. Looks. That is going to be fun to animate. We'll have to figure out this. Figure this. Uh. be a little lower. Yeah, there you go. So I'll fix that. We'll have to fix that um, that underlay for the for the eyebrow so it's cutting the eye properly. But let's change this line color. There you go. It's coming. Uh, are the pupils that color? Yes, they are. Okay. There you go. So that looks pretty good. Oh, you know what? The only thing is that these lines, they didn't auto-correct. They didn't automatically update. Here, let me do this. Let's do... Let's grab a whole bunch of teeth. This is why we rig in a horizontal network. Let's do this. There we go. And I've got this turned on. We've got all our layers. I'm just going to try to select them all. And I'm going to turn that maximum size to six. There we go. 
And I need to do with these ones as well. Okay, so grab all three of these. And select all. Change that to six. Yeah, there you go. Awesome. That looks great. And we'll figure out how to put a darker line around the edges. But there you go. Almost done. Getting there. Step by step. So thank you for everybody. I'm going <laughs> to... I got to run now. Maple's been super patient. Now she wants to go out. And uh, we're going to catch the last of that sun. But thank you so much for being here. And uh, yeah. It's always a pleasure to see everybody. Have a good night and see you next week.